10 Effective Ways to Break Sugar Addiction Welcome back to the channel WizGram, where you can get practical wisdom for money, investing, success, and more. Before we begin, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss any of our new videos that will be uploaded every week. Now, let's get started. As it turns out, the food business has managed to take over not just our taste buds, but also our brain chemistry and hormones. Consuming too much sugar is a source of self-blame for many people. Even people who understand how the hormones and neurotransmitters that feed sugar cravings function have difficulty using the skills to battle them when so much money is invested in this biological condition. The idea of completely giving up sugar can be intimidating, but it's quite possible to learn how to reduce your sugar intake and lessen its grip on your life. Here are 10 effective ways to help you kick your sugar habit for good. Number 1. Start with coffee or tea Many people sweeten their coffee and tea. Start adding less sugar in these drinks. Start slowly. A lesser amount of sugar will suffice. At first, the drink may taste less sweet but persist with it. You'll get used to it. Then, reduce sugar by one more serving. You might even grow to like your coffee or tea without any sugar. This step cuts sugar from your diet and shows that cutting sugar isn't as difficult as you anticipated. Number 2. Avoid artificial sweeteners Substituting artificial sweeteners for refined sugar will not assist you in overcoming your sugar addiction. This is because artificial sweeteners share the same molecular properties as stable sugar with your brain. As a result, they continue to increase your desire for sugary meals and beverages. If you follow your diet cola with a candy bar or sweet pastry, your total sugar consumption will not be reduced, correct? Not to mention, artificial sweeteners are associated with various unpleasant symptoms, including depression, headaches, anxiety, and digestive issues. Number 3. Switch to snacks with less sugar Take a look at your present snack intake. How much sugar do they contain? Even whole grain cookies or yogurt are higher in sugar than one might expect. For instance, sugar is substituted for fat in low-fat yogurt. Snacks marketed as diet should be avoided. Artificial sweeteners are commonly found in these treats, further enhancing their sweetness. Sugar cravings can be increased as a result. Look for sugar-free options. Nuts, cheese, and olives are just a few of the delicious alternatives. When it comes to vegetables, you can eat as many as you want. The more you eat these snacks, the more you'll enjoy them. Number 4. Reduce the amount and frequency of sugary desserts Stop eating dessert after every meal if you normally do. Start with one less and keep going. This is a habit. If you eat sugary treats six times a week instead of seven, you will get used to it. Easy replacement for a healthy alternative is a fresh food with whipped cream. Substitute a low sugar or sugar-free snack for dessert. When eating out, stop ordering dessert every time. Instead, enjoy a cup of coffee or tea. Number 5. Keep your meals diverse Unbalanced diets cause sugar cravings. This is particularly true if your diet lacks healthy fats and proteins. Refined starchy foods such as pasta, white bread, or white rice make you feel full quickly but are swiftly absorbed. This raises your blood sugar and sugar levels decrease quickly, leading to a craving for more. Neither proteins nor fats have this impact. That's why eating meals with an appropriate macronutrient balance is vital. Substituting whole grains for processed grains also helps. Number 6. Get more fiber in your diet Dietary fiber not only aids digestion, but also helps reduce sugar cravings. Diets lacking in fiber are more likely to experience sugar spikes followed by sugar slumps, which in turn can contribute to overeating. Fiber, like protein and healthy fat, keeps you satisfied for a longer period of time. 
Try to incorporate some into your meals regularly. Number 7. Avoid skipping meals. You've probably heard the term hungry. It expresses the sensation of being both hungry and angry at the same time. You've probably encountered this if you have a sugar addiction. This sensation is caused by a combination of low blood sugar and stress, which leads you to feel exceedingly hungry and as a result, irritated. This can happen if you try to ignore hunger and continue for an extended period of time without eating. When you skip a meal, your body starts craving fuel. At some point, you give in to your hunger and try to relieve it as quickly as possible, usually with easy-to-find sugary snacks. Keep an eye on your nutrition and eat three balanced meals per day. Number 8. Drink enough water. If you don't drink enough water, your body may confuse thirst for hunger, causing you to consume more calories than necessary. Additionally, this can result in harmful weight gain. Consuming water is an excellent way to reduce obesity since it makes you feel full. Many dieters consume large amounts of water to lose weight. Therefore, keep a bottle or glass of water nearby and drink it frequently, especially if you get a hunger pang between meals. Number 9. Beware of advertisements Advertisers are aware that we feed with our eyes. To get our attention, they flood us with photos of delicious-looking food. According to research, food commercials increase the appetites of those who are already struggling to keep their weight under control. Avoid the desire to eat a donut or a chocolate bar anytime you see a picture of one. Being aware of the current situation can aid you in combating it. Also, consider unfollowing social media profiles to promote sugary meals on Facebook and Instagram. Number 10. Get sufficient rest. According to studies, the amount of sleep you get is closely tied to the intensity of your sugar cravings. According to the evidence, people who do not get enough sleep prefer sugar. It simply makes sense. If you don't get enough sleep, your body will seek sugar for the fast energy it provides. You instinctively reach for sugary foods or beverages. This can provide a short boost but it can lead to poor eating and weight gain in the long run. Recognizing that you have an issue is the first step toward resolving it. However, it is not always this simple. Sugar addiction is similar to drug addiction. If you drastically reduce your sugar intake, you may experience withdrawal symptoms such as moodiness, irritability, and fatigue. Sugar cravings may become stronger during the withdrawal period so going cold turkey may not be for everyone. The best strategy is to gradually adjust your diet by following the procedures mentioned here. Keep your motivation in mind as well so that you can resist the impulse to consume sugar. It's much easier to switch up the foods you eat if they still taste good. So eat whole foods, look out for stealthy sugars in drinks and processed foods, and get savvy about reading and understanding food labels. Additionally, it's important to note that sweetened beverages such as soda, lemonade, and sports drinks are the most common sources of added sugar in our diets. As Cassetti points out, one of the most beneficial things you can do is swap your sugary drink for an unsweetened one. Instead of having a cola every day, you may have one every other day instead. Then, continue to limit how many sweetened beverages you drink each week until you have completely broken your drinking habit. So what actions can you take right away to break your sugar addiction? Tell us about it and comment below! Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you again soon in another one of our episodes. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family so that they can enjoy it as well. With that said, have a wonderful day everyone and I'll see you in the next one.